AITA if I accidentally a trip and spill wine all over this girl who is wearing white to my sister's wedding? Okay, this is happening right now. I'm in the wedding venue watching my sister get married. So expect updates maybe? IF, 17, am at my sister's wedding right now, I'm so happy for her. Here's the problem, this random guest, who I don't know, is wearing the very beautiful very obvious wedding gown to what's supposed to be my sister's special day. Back when I was younger and she was a teen she told me that if she got married and someone wore white to my wedding she wanted me to spill a gallon of syrup and glitter on her as payback. Now the only unfortunate part is that I have no access to syrup or or glitter. You might be thinking wine because that's the most commonly used weapon in these situations, but they won't let me near the alcohol table. The only drinks available to the five children here is Sprite, orange juice, and water, great selection guys. Now I would do orange juice, but there is very little left and my cousin would be very upset me. So what to do? I'm pretty sure everyone here has noticed the white dress and is a tad confused by it. My whole family and the groom's side aren't big tradition followers so you basically could wear anything to this wedding and not be directly called out. However, this seems very deliberate and I know my sister has noticed it because how the hell would you not? So Ada, honestly just tell me what to do cause it, I might go talk to her. I love talking to crazy people. Also don't come at me for making an Ada post about something so stupid cause I find this hilarious. Relevant comments. Ask your sister if she approved this. If not, Loudly ask the guest why she's wearing white to someone else's wedding. But check with your sister first. NTA. Hard to say as it depends on your sister's wishes and who this woman is to her. You may be royally screwing up if you do this and you just don't realize. If I were you, I would talk to your sister and say you either want to speak to this woman or potentially spill wine on her and see what she says. IMO before wine, I would ask her why she's wearing a wedding dress to another woman's wedding. If she's rude about it, take it from there. First though, speak to your sister if you're able to. YWBTA, check with your sister if she will be okay with your plan. Also you might want to check the girl's nationality. There are cultures who do not abhor guests wearing white slash off white dress. In fact, it is okay, in other parts of the world, to wear something white or off white slash tan slash neutral colors rather than wear black to weddings. In the Philippines for example, the traditional formal dresses for men and women are off white slash white color, the materials are fiber that are undyed. So normally white slash off white slash beige worn by guests slash families slash friends dresses abound. OOP had a mix of YTA and NTA so we will say ESH. Update, few hours later. So I want to make it clear that I am very much a gentle giant and would never do something so bold. Me and my cousin thought this would be pretty funny to see what other people thought. Now I finally spoke to my sister and her husband. My sister actually didn't notice her and got pretty upset when I pointed it out. I feel kind of bad about that. I asked her if she knew the person to which she said no then ask her husband if he did and he said it was his cousins plus one and gf. I asked her if she wanted me to do anything about it and she told me yes, but also to not make a big scene out of it. So one things I'm pretty good at is info fishing. I sidled my way up to the guest with my little cousin, not the same cousin as before and started some small talk with the guests around her which eventually lead to her being brought into the conversation. Now my little cousin is blunt and childish, which is why I brought his amazing self along, and asks why she has the white dress on, as planned. She stutters a little then mumbles something about her being colorblind. Okay, pause. What? I've heard of color blindness where you can't see anything but black or white and if I am a be honest I kind of just walked away after that. Like, how do I respond to that? Cause if she's actually colorblind and thought the dress was a light shade of some color or other than I'm the Ah. Uh. And she doesn't deserve me complaining about it, yk? Then again, if she's lying that's freaking crazy. I basically just told my sister that and gave me the most WTF face she could manage. She decided not to worry about it and just have a happy wedding. I'm happy for her and honestly just happy she's such a great person and so much better than me. <laughs> Relevant comment. You're an awesome sibling for looking out for your sister's wedding. And no you are not TA for calling out stupid behavior. I highly doubt she's wearing a white dress by accident. And if she really is colorblind how did your cousin who brought this girl not think to say, honey I know you're colorblind but maybe let's not wear white to the one type of event you're not supposed to wear it at. Honestly I think the colorblind thing was just an excuse cause she didn't expect to be called out especially by kids. Then when she was she was so embarrassed that she left. Good for you OP you handled it well. Update 2, about 5 to 7 hours after update 1. So me and my cousin have decided that we were the Ah. Uh. And we accept it. It would have been worse if we acted on the joke however. The woman has left and her BF is nowhere to be seen so all is well. 
me and my cousin brought the post up to my sister, who was a bit tipsy so I'll ask again later, and asked if we should delete since it was unkind of us to do it at her wedding. She laughed at us after reading the post, and a few comments, and told us we were fine and also hilarious. I'm glad my sister is happy and when my sister is happy I'm happy. Let's just celebrate that my sister got married. Woo! Go sister. Sure I'm just a 17 years old and acting childish, but you bet your ass that I'll live out my last year of childhood acting like the biggest toddler of all. I love you sis. Hmm. Relevant comments. YTA. This whole thing is so childish and you created so much drama that didn't need to be created. Your sister has no idea, the GF and BF left because you made her feel uncomfortable, you assumed it was an ill intended and it was due to something she couldn't control. Childish behavior. Grow up. I am glad that you chose not to ruin the dress. When I was young, poor college student, I only had a white dress. I was asked to sit at the entrance table to ask people to sign their wedding book. I did dye my dress a light green. In many cultures, people do not wear white dresses for the bride. My Indian friend had a very colorful dress and changed into her white, western culture, dress later in the evening. Filipinos wear white or beige barongs or dresses for all kinds of dress-up events. If it was clearly an attempt to upstage the bride, like a mother-in-law wearing a full white gown, then I would not feel too guilty causing some trouble. Ex-wives or girlfriends, definitely a no. My mom wore a beige skirt and top to my wedding because it was the only thing that fit her well and fancy enough for a wedding. I did not care. Story 2, AITA for refusing to help rekindle my girlfriend's friendship with our neighbor after she refused to help her in an emergency? My 25F's girlfriend, 26F Lada, has always been on the more quiet and reserved side but also incredibly kind and conscientious of other people. She also doesn't let others walk over her and knows how to set and stick to boundaries which is one of the reasons I was attracted to her. But a few weeks ago, I think she was too ruthless. A few weeks ago, our upstairs neighbor, who Lada and I are close with, showed up at our door sobbing and begging Lada to babysit her 5-year-old for an hour because her 1-month-old was having trouble breathing and has stopped breathing at one point and needed to go to the hospital ASAP. The neighbor explained her mother was on the way as they speak but she has no one else to take care of her other son. She also offered to pay Lada. I was at work at the time. Lada said no. She said she was busy and couldn't do it. The neighbor ended up taking both kids to the hospital. I found out about this incident when I got home from work and Lada told me. I was genuinely surprised to hear she said no which seemed to annoy Lada. It's been three weeks since that event and our neighbor has been quite cold to Lada and this really bothers her. She says she was just setting boundaries and that our neighbor was entitled and snobba for being upset that Lada said no. I explained I felt differently and am more on our neighbor's side as one, she has never asked us for any favors in the three years we've known her and two, this was a medical emergency and not her wanting to go clubbing with her friends. I told Lada that she didn't teach our neighbor a lesson, she only added stress she didn't need. This really upset Lada because she thought I would be on her side. She then asked me to talk to our neighbor to try and rekindle their friendship. I said I can't do that for her, she needs to apologize herself and put in the work. Lada stormed off and now keeps saying I'm being a huge asshole for not siding with her and helping her with our neighbor who is her friend. Ita. Edit. Lada was a busy at cooking dinner and catching up on a show of hers. She wasn't working or doing anything that would be dangerous for kids to be around. Relevant comments. Linzert Snort 6. NTA. This was a medical emergency not her wanting to go clubbing with her friends. I told Lada that she didn't teach our neighbor a lesson. She only added stress she didn't need. That's it right there. This is so horrible to do to someone. Because Lada was busy, that poor 5-year-old was exposed to further trauma by having to go to the hospital and potentially witness their baby sibling being poked and prodded and probably have tubes shoved down their throat. I really hope Lada doesn't want children of her own. Or maybe I do, because then she will realize what a total. Ah. Uh. She was to this poor woman. B. Jackson. NTA. Good for you for recognizing that it wasn't your job to mend the fences that Lada broke. She might be good and kind in most instances, but in this case she doesn't know how to admit that she was wrong and apologize to the right person. Sounds like she's mad at everyone but herself. I'm also on the neighbor's side. This was a small test of friendship for Lada and she failed it. She didn't want to be inconvenienced, which is fine. But now your neighbor doesn't want to be inconvenienced by befriending Lada. Andromache 97 NTA. She says she was just setting boundaries. And so is the neighbor by distancing herself as a result of these boundaries. People really think they can treat people however they want and then get upset when they suffer the consequences as a result. If Lada wants to rekindle her friendship with the neighbor, Lada should talk to her herself. Not creative at all 16. Wow. Your GF is cold. Sure, she didn't have to sit for your neighbor. 
But your neighbor has now seen that she is a cruel person who cares more about boundaries than helping out our friend in an emergency. Her friendship is gone. She cared more about whatever she was doing at the time than helping out a mother whose child stopped breathing. She was even going to pay her. Honestly, I wouldn't lift a finger to help her repair her situation. She can be cruel to people, but then she has to live with the outcome. Update June 29, 2024. Posting here because AITA mods are a nightmare. So first things first. A lot of people were asking why I was with Lada, and it's because her behavior during this incident was totally out of character. I was genuinely surprised to hear Lada's actions to the situation, which is why I wrote in. We've known each other for 8 years and I guess I wanted to give her the benefit of the doubt. So many comments were asking if she had any redeeming qualities, which, yes, she does and that's what made this whole thing so confusing to me. She is usually a very bubbly, kind person who remembers the small details and is just a nice person. I don't know why she had this shift. That being said, I did take into account some comments suggesting this was the real Lada. Even if I took it with a grain of salt, it helped me to think through our interactions. We had a discussion about it and I laid out all my points and concerns. How this didn't seem like her, how callous she was and how I don't know how to move past it if she's acting how she is about the situation. She pushed back and once again said it was just as boundaries, and she really didn't feel like babysitting in that moment. I said that I'm sure our neighbor didn't want her baby to stop breathing either. The conversation got kind of heated because Lada genuinely wouldn't even own up to being kind of as callous and rude, even though I think a kind of is a huge understatement. She just kept saying that our neighbor's mom was on the way anyways so what's the problem? At this point I was at a loss. There was no convincing her that what she did was awful and she wasn't going to see it. I told her I needed time to think but I already knew my stance. I told her I wanted to break up. Her response was seriously? Over me setting boundaries? Neighbor, is going to walk all over you now. I know you've been bringing her food. She's not a stray. She can cook her own meals. She left half an hour later and is scheduled to come pick up the rest of her stuff later. I genuinely wanted to believe this was just a huge fuck up and misstep on Lada's part and not her character shining through, but it's clear that her standing her ground and not owning up to being callous and awful doesn't align with me. Thanks to everyone who commented. Relevant comments. The Yang Kunian. I'm sorry about your relationship ending, but I'm glad you got to see her true self before you wasted any more time with her. I said it in your last post, but setting boundaries isn't, I'm not doing that. Setting boundaries is, if you do X, I will do Y. Like, if you keep putting hot sauce in all the food instead of your own. I'm going to not cook for you anymore, and then following through. Nothing she did had to do with boundaries, and everything to do with being an asshole. Best of luck with the recovery, and moving on. I'm sure you'll find someone as kind as you are. Bubbles for Eva. I'm glad you saw the true her before getting in too deep, like marriage. Everyone is nice and generous until it affects them. Truly mind people are still kind when no one's watching. Silent underscore ad underscore 8672. This would be a huge deal breaker for me too. Outside of needing to be at the hospital myself I cannot fathom turning someone away like this and I'm not even good with kids.